During the period under review, February to June 2013, I was still hooked on the pen EPL3 and 14-42 lens. It was so light and easy to carry around, especially on long trips. In this selection of just landscapes, I have included a couple of buildings that play an important contribution to our landscapes. I can't remember why I went to Milton Keynes, a new town created out of the Buckinghamshire countryside and a few villages, but for this shot it was essential to spot meter those clouds to avoid burnout, followed of course by some adjustment in Adobe Lightroom. The Grand Union Canal passes to the east of Milton Keynes, and being February, there is still a touch of autumn in the colours. Choosing a viewpoint that creates a strong diagonal through the shot adds depth. Croydon Airport was an airport for London long before Heathrow was created, and it played an important part during the Battle of Britain. Now largely built over with housing, the building remains, and photographically its entrance today is quite striking. A similar building exists at Shoreham Airport, still operational today as Brighton's airport, but mostly for light aircraft. The building occasionally is requisitioned for films that require a period airport, and when a wider panorama is shown, you will see the South Downs in the distance and Lansing College Chapel. This shot of Church Stretton demonstrates the importance of working with weather and being in the right place, by chance on this occasion, at the right time. I spot metered for the hill, that is, Car Caradoc, allowing the sky to go dark. On this occasion, to add drama, I did not lighten it in post-production. You won't believe anything I photograph now, will you? Probably taken the same day as the last one. But don't be fooled by the blue sky. Yes, it is for real. But that heavy sky you saw in the last shot is behind me. Classic composition, looking straight up the valley, enhanced by a strong foreground, which Micro Four Thirds is good at keeping sharp. This is a favourite view, and quite local to me, and proves that Surrey has wonderful countryside. Everything falls into place. A footpath leading to the church, framed left and right by foliage, and taken early in spring. There is a seat nearby, but don't tell everybody, will you? I have included this architectural shot of Lingfield because the spaces outside the houses are usually occupied by many cars. Doesn't it make quite a difference to this classic shot? And, discovered by chance, it emphasises the importance in photography for capturing that opportune moment, and it doesn't last long, believe me. This is one of my favourite locations for taking shots of the River Arran as it passes through the South Downs. Now, on this visit, not far from Amberley Railway Station, the attraction are clouds reflected in the water. It is taken from private ground, but access is granted for the price of a coffee, as it is a café, and very nice too, especially the full Monty. That is, if you feel up to the challenge, but go for a long walk afterwards, as I did. The church at Somting, not far from Worthing, on the southern edge of the South Downs. It is reckoned to be one of the finest preserved Saxon churches in the country. I may have tilted the camera up a bit for this shot. If so, converging verticals are corrected in Lightroom. It's quite easy. The River Ada. I think that is how you pronounce it. It might be Ada. Anyway, it takes an unusual course as it swings around Shoreham by sea, avoiding Shoreham Beach before entering the English Channel. From the town, cross the swing bridge over the river, and immediately you enter a different world, occupied by colourful houseboats, a magnet for photographers. 
until the M25 motorway around London was built, the A25 from Dorking was the main road to Guildford. Today it is a little quieter and one of those highways that has hardly changed. Don't use it when in a hurry, but if you do, enjoy some of the old architecture that graces the road's borders, especially at Sheer Gumshaw and here at Abenshaw Hammer, and, as can be seen, not too difficult to photograph without cars. I don't have the pen camera anymore, having passed it on to a friend. Although I have used the 14-42 to lens throughout, which makes it light and portable, it did accept most Zuiko lenses, but some, because of the camera's small size and weight, are ergonomically unsuitable even when they are fully operational.